Hello and welcome Universe Mode. This is ECW. As, as the fireworks go off and I have absolutely no idea what to say, it is time for wrestling from somewhere that is in the Americas. They, we are from Beth Phoenix. <laughs> and if there's a, you know, if we were able to sum up this night, we'd be able to sum it up in just one way, in just, in just one match. Yes, it's the rematch from Guilty as Charged. The Ascension versus the Four Horsemen. Only the roles have been swapped this time around. The Ascension of the Challengers and the Four Horsemen are the tag team champions. That will be your main event later on tonight in what is a pretty lackluster ECW. Not a whole lot of stuff is happening, but we're kicking things off with Cruiserweight action. Do you like that? Because I do, and I know someone else who will like that. And that's going to be my co-commentator, JDL, John Dave Shaw Layfield. By God, what a what, what a start to the show. <laughs> Roderick Strong. Roddy Strong, who is a fan favorite, keeps getting yes. uh, keeps getting voted into these cruiserweight title matches. He's doing a solid job at it. Wanting to, wanting to bring more gold to uh, to the four horsemen. Yes, exactly. With the potentials they, I mean. He didn't, he didn't get a shot to be next in line for Bray Wyatt's ECW Television Championship for Guilty as Charge. But, you know, chance to become Cruiserweight Champion tonight. It's gold, and he probably will. Sorry, sorry Noble. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. He's got to go up against the King of King of King of Kings. There's no there's Oh, he's no got an extra king added to him now, is he? Yeah. Every time he, every time he, he uh, wins a match, he gets an extra king added to him. So he, oh, okay, right, I got you, I got you now. Right, so, so his opponent is the King of King of King of Kings. Because he keeps beating all these kings, you see. Like tonight, if he right. beats Roderick Strong, the King of the Backbreaker, then he'll become the King of King of King of Kings. Oh, so it so it gives his charge like he beat the the King of Dabbing. Yes. Right. That's how that works. Or King Bow of Kings. down to the. <laughs> Bow down to the king of king of king of king. I mean, you get that theme updated. It could either be that, or he, or he beat the guy that's the king of terrible kings. I don't know. That too. I mean, you know, not only sure what T.J. Perkins' gimmick is, dabbing in video game characters, apparently. Exactly. <laughs> Roddy Strong gives such little shits about this match. He's decided to stay with the crowd. He didn't only give sh such little shits about Jamie Noble. He's like, this guy's nothing. I can beat him. Oh, well, he needs to realize that this isn't a Cruiserweight Championship. Do you know that? This isn't a Cruiserweight Championship? No, this is the King of King of King of Kingsway Championship. Ah, fair enough. That title actually weighs 600 pounds. Which is, like, almost three times as much as what the Cruiserweights for the, that can be for this word. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. That's some strength well, for Jamie Noble to be lifting it up and holding it on his shoulder, then. With one arm. Look at how lax today he looks. Watch it now. I bet you will lift it up in the air. Maybe. I bet you. Or maybe he just stares. Ready? Way! Look at that. That's wow. what makes him the king of king of king of king of kings. He can lift... Oh, God. Watch out, ref. I'm going to watch this title just drop. Ref, oh, you oh. Ooh. You're so, you're so sad slightly there. That ref is actually... Oh, he's using both arms, that's, though. Um, that's a strong McStrongington. He's, he's a ah. for the night. I thought he was the ref shit added like 250 pounds. Well, maybe, but that's that's actually his name. His name is Strong Strong. Strong Mc, okay. So is he related to Roddy Strong? Because obviously this title is made with Roddy Strong in mind. I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I don't well, well, you know, his last name is Strong and the referees is Mick Strongington. So I don't think the, I don't think the lineage is there. They could be cousins. Yeah, maybe. Potentials there. That is um, very true. They do else, kind of, they kind of look alike. They both have darker, short hair. Exactly. There you go. They both, they're both wearing black. <laughs> this is confirmed. It's on. confirmed the screw job is in because this is Roderick Strong's cousin as the referee. Well, obviously the screw job is in. You think you can legitimately pin Jamie Noble? The king of king of king of king of kings. Exactly. Oh my god, what is he doing? Oh, off the second rope. Oh! Oh my goodness! What a kick wow. maneuver. 
Oi! <laughs> what an arm to the knee! <laughs> Trying to tell Jamie oh, trying to get Roddy Strong to bout to uh, about him. Well, it's a good attempt. Oh, nice overhead by the Valley. Anyway, tonight's card is um matches. I think it it has got two Royal Rumble qualifiers uh, at some point. Not spinning elbow drop. Um after this, as a weird as an interesting rumble qualifier I should say, we got Neville against Zack Sabre Jr. Interesting. Then Rusev. Uh, of all people, Rusev wanted a part of Wade Barrett, and he's been granted that opportunity later on tonight. So, exactly. Oh my God! What a landing! My God! And uh, then our other Royal Rumble qualifier match is actually quite a big one for ECW. It's EC3 against Baron Corbin. EC3? What's that guy been doing? Yeah. Nothing. Still has one of the best, uh, one of the best records in the ECW history, though. Exactly, gives him all the more potential to walk out, to uh, walk out tonight with a shot in the Royal Rumble. And then, of course, we got the main event, which is, you know, just just a match. No, no we talked about it earlier. There's nothing special about it. Well, he's gonna fly. Here we go, Roddy. Calling he's to gonna his run. Feet. Oh my God! <laughs> By God, what a flying punch in the face! JB Noble no sells it. <laughs> oh, double chop. He's going to go for the boom drop now. Yes, see, here you go. Ready? Well, never mind. He tried boom to drop. Boom drop, but <laughs> JB Noble reversed out of it. By that, we mean he dropped him <laughs> out of his grips. I, I, oh, I, I thought the boom drop was going to be a fist. What a knee. I thought the boom drop was going to be a fist he was going to drop, but JB Noble got out of there. Here we go. It's Noble now. Oh, my God. That's his signature maneuver. Oh if my Roddy Strong goodness. loses this match, the I think I will quit. The king of swing neck breakers. The, the king of swing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Roddy Strong should be losing to Jamie Noble, the king of kings. There's the, the, the single king of king of gut buster. Kings, this is over. Good night. One, two, oh. Oh, the referee clearly screwing Jamie Noble out of this matchup. What I actually, what I, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see a string attached between the referee and Roddy Strong right now. So that when the, you know, the ref just yanks his arm slightly, and Roddy Strong's arm just pulls up off the <laughs> off the floor. Oh, that's it. I'm voting. If Jamie Noble loses this match, I'm voting him in for uh, for getting a rematch. Well, he can't. That, that's not how things work. I I will become a fan and vote him in. <laughs> Gut check. Oh my God! Off the ropes he goes. Ah! Oh! Nobody knows who I am. I can become a fan and vote him in. It's possible. Oh, well, here we go. Suplay! Backbreaker. He's taking his time. He might be lucky to get a one count at this rate. Let's see the fast count. One. Two. Oh! Oh my god, that was a fast count. That's Are you cool. sure? That was fast. Hmm. I'm going to have to have a second look at that one. Roderick Strong and the referee trying to screw Jamie Noble out of the Cruiserweight Championship. But is this what happens when you're on ECW? He has screw jobs happening. Yes. Good lord. He's hurt, he's hurt bad. He might just have nothing oh. to give guys. Oh my god, Roddy Strong's lining up. He's dialing home! <laughs> 619! 619! <laughs> <laughs> and the call is the West Coast he pop! The dime. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get the three count after he dropped the dime. <laughs> what a, uh, what a almighty error he made there. Stunner. Super kick. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Noble. Well, stronger slam. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, the, the <laughs> that's the one move. <laughs> Jamie Noble, uh, one of spiral. about three people. <laughs> Jamie Noble, one of about three or four people in this universe to um to actually win a match with a Tombstone Power Driver. I'd like to let you know. Yes. He did that once. Oh, the vice grip. <laughs> oh shit, the suplex backbreaker. Man, I've never seen anybody do that move before. Roddy, Roddy, cover. Oh my god, he did it again. That's because the king of king of king of king of king of kings don't get, doesn't get put down by a simple move like that. Alright, right, you know, he's, he's, when, did, when did those two get added? 
just now. Because he is the king of kickouts and he's the, the king of getting screwed over in matches. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh my god! Kinshasa! <laughs> Close line from hell! Oh my goodness! The oh, DDT! The DDT. <laughs> the DDT that ends matches! Why don't you go for the cover? What will, what will Jamie Noble look for next? Oh, it's, it's just a dropkick. Attitude adjustment! Holy shit! <laughs> Jamie Noble flipping out of it. Oh, it's the dropkick. He's setting up for the he's setting up for the knee trembler. <laughs> set up for a spear. Oh, what a spear! <laughs> oh, ball hammer! Oh, he's gonna go for. He's gonna go for the the gorilla press. <laughs> he's gonna go for. Oh, I thought he's gonna go for the best move. Saw that. Curb stomp. <laughs> Curb stomp the middle of the ropes. Here he comes. Oh, it's the single knee gut buster. Well, he's hitting one of our four finishing moves in a row. Now it's over. That's it. Ah, oh, the screw jobs continue. The referee pulled his shoulder up. <laughs> what will Jimmy not what will we see now? Oh, it's the dreaded shoulder tackle. Good cover! <laughs> oh, he sits up like the Undertaker! Roddy, run! What will we see now? Oh no, Roddy's bringing him in. No! Pedigree! Oh my Maybe god! Not. This match what else has he got up his sleeves? Oh my god, Batista Bomb! Oh, it was a pedigree into the Batista Bomb. The dreaded knee into the back. Curb stomp. Disarm him! I'm running out of finishing names. Oh, the, the vice it's grip. The vice grip again. <laughs> this is um, a slight twist on the vice grip. It's an alternation. Oh, look at that. He's oh, just wiping off swag. Ah. Oh. He's bending over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This could actually happen. Oh, no. No, the dreaded. No. He's, he's so young. He has so much of his life left to live. Roddy he's Strong, don't do it. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> well, there goes his double wide. Oh, he's gonna be living in a squake. He just lost his outdoor pool. Mm. I mean, it was it was a kiddie pool, you know, what it did, but he's he's still gone. gone. Well, congratulations, Roddy Strong. You just ruined a, a young man's life. Bye, guy. And we just ruined this match. I'm voting Jamie Noble back in for the Cruiserweight title. Such a screw job. I think Strongy McStrongington has many questions to answer. Yes. Including Such as, why are you strong? Name Strongy McStrongington. <laughs> yes. Well, there you go. Scenes that I never thought we'd see, but the show must go on. I think we need and a I match think... between Jamie Noble and Strongy McStrongington now. I'm being told to get serious. Well, here comes Neville. Oh, it's the man that gravity forgot. Actually, it's the man he's pointing I up to. About. He's pointing up in. <laughs> he's pointing up to the sky because that's where gravity is, and gravity doesn't remember him. Cause he's a vanilla midget. I mean, I, it's the man I legitimately forgot about. He hasn't really done much recently. No, he hasn't, is he? Has he got like, rockets on his arms? Is he ready? He's literally ready to break all of it. Yes. He's gonna try to break Orbit here tonight. And Pew! Fall by for the <laughs> Neville's gone. Yeah, he's gonna punch through glass ceiling. That's uh, that's what he's gonna do. Oh, that glass he's ceiling. Grab the brass ring. That glass ceiling that doesn't exist here in the Project Universe. If we give exactly. everyone opportunities. Exactly. Whoever thought you'd hear the words, you know, WWE Champion Magnus. Yes. Or, exactly. or whoever thought you'd hear the words United States Champion Zack Ryder. Man, you were desperate to get that plug in, weren't you? Well, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, 
I mean, I, I know what you're thinking, but I'm sure I've seen that somewhere before. Yeah, that doesn't count. No? Yeah. Right. Because this time, right. this time around, Zach Ryder beat AJ Styles, too. Yeah, that's my fun. Big qualifier. Uh, you know. Who? I think it was, uh, I think it was Big Wolf. That doesn't matter, though. This is, that's not the question about? universe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ziggler's been contracted since day one. Yes. The only thing Zack Ryder's been contracted with is Hepatitis C. And now, he's been contracted with the United States Championship. <laughs> Are you saying the United States Championship is a disease? No. I'm saying that he's, he's, he's contracted. He's I've injected it. a lethal poison. He's contracted. He's gained it now. Well, that's neither Gained here nor there. Disease. Here's Zack Sabre Jr. He wants to fight Neville, and he wants to qualify for the Rumble. Yes. Or he'll be eliminated by Triple H. Yes. All the Miz. No, no. The, the Miz doesn't count. The Miz has already been eliminated. Oh, God. Who else is in the Rumble as well? Uh, Ziggler. Oh, yes. I forgot Ziggler's about that. Ziggler yeah. qualified. I mean, you see that the, the shocking moment at the end of Monday Night Raw, which, you know, wasn't spoiled at all, was, um... <laughs> Spoilers? What are those? You mean the, I mean, it totally, mean it totally blew me away. People say something about a video before anybody else gets a chance to see it? <sighs> Don't know what you're on about. Never heard of it in my life. That's crazy talk. That'd be like me spoiling, Weird. that'd be like me going and spoiling right now that uh, Jamie, that Jamie Noble just lost the Cruiserweight title. What? Oh my god. I'm done. Hey, quit. You know I'm not that far in the series. <laughs> Oh right, I forgot. I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't let you know then that uh, that once upon a time, Vince McMahon threw Samoa Joe fifty feet in the air and pedigreed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vince, you know I'm not that far in the series. <laughs> Spoiler alert: <laughs> the Project Universe is based around a wrestling show. Oh my goodness! What? That's just what? You are kidding me. I thought it was a bunch of half-naked men trying to marry each other, and that's why they got in the ring. No. Oh, no. Oh. This is all wrestling. It's ruined for me now. This is awful. This is just... I thought it was a rom-com. Spoiler alert. Neville just pedigreed Zack Sabre Jr. off the, off the apron. Pedigreed him? He power brought him. power brought him? pedigree him, though. Ah, oh, Zack Sabre Jr. with a back suplex. My God, can you tell how great this episode of ECW is going to be? I know. I can just <laughs> smell the right things. We clearly are caring about it as much as possible. I have a question to ask. You see that woman? Uh, oh my God! What a good thing. You see that woman over there with the uh, with the wife be drawn and the and the blue jeans? That's a woman. Sitting next to the ring bell. That's a woman. You see her down by there? That's a woman. I thought that was a guy. Oh well, whatever it is. What is she looking at? She's looking at, uh, actually, she's one of our security forces. Oh. She's, she is, uh, so she, um... Who just hates wrestling. She is, she is, uh, uh, well, actually, I don't know her name. Oh, my God. Oh, my the, God. Back to the, security. back to the action. What the hell is this? Zack Sabre Jr. making sure Neville can't fly. Oh, there's a it's very strong method leg. to do that. So that is, look at the strength as well to just lift him up in the air. Neville, though. He's punching his leg. <laughs> My God, he's beating up his own leg. He gets out. That worked. Oh, look at this. Sabre Jr. just went to town on that leg. Neville and Neville just stuffs it by delivering a power bomb. Good Neville selling. doesn't care, though, because he hits the Batista bomb. <laughs> he thinks he's done enough. He's going to he go for the pinball. He doesn't go for the cover off of it, but then he goes for the cover off of it. Why, what is the re the ref apparently trying to count down someone illegally entering this tag team matchup? No, the, no, the referee was yelling, Don't you realize that you can go for a cover after that powerbomb? You don't have to actually pin him with the lateral press. Oh, okay. I was, I was wondering what that was all about. Yeah, I, I heard it from where we are, from our vantage point here in the ECW arena. Ah. Right. Oh, okay. Never with a bit of a jitterbug there as he ended up in the corner. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. I expected here, much worse. Here in Phoenix, Arizona, where uh, you know, teams are playing. <laughs> oh, what is the referee's <laughs> yelling at Zack Sabre Jr. now. <laughs> strong McStrong, he did. He's just yelling at everybody who's not Roderick Strong now. 
Um, I believe so. The the local sports team, the um, the Philadelphia Pyramid <laughs> Pyramids. The Philadelphia? No, that's that's on the other the side of the nation. Is, there are few better. The nation of domination. We're 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 in Arizona, so Crisco. We're not in Philadelphia. Oh, right the Arizona Apricots. <laughs> Cover though is. The what is the ref's obsession yelling? with yelling at everyone? <laughs> the referees yelling at anybody who's not Roderick Strong. We've already discussed this. Oh, look, it's the boom drop. The oh, there it was. There's the infamous boom drop. What we'll never look for now. He He's stuck on Zack Sabre Jr.'s impressive shoulder. The, uh, the walk. Well, you get tall by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time for talk. Never with the oh. reverse. Never with the reverse oh. moonwalk after a walk. <laughs> and then he tried to go after the referee. He said, screw you, referee. This is what you get for yelling at me all the time. Cover! Saber Jr. with the cover! Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't even yell at him! Screw job! Uh, well, that's because Neville tried to hit him. Remember when Neville was a challenger for the uh, ECW Championship? <laughs> yeah, me too. Remember when Neville was actually you know, somebody who would fly around here? Oh, he kicks out at two. <clears throat> what is Saber Jr. got in mind? Oh, it's reversed by Neville. I think we need Went to break that sinus. That's about the only way that Neville can succeed. I don't know. Yeah, because you got Sheamus who's doing shit. As well. Yeah. So, they kind of need it. Break Orbit! Cesaro needs something to do after he lost the uh, ECW title match against DDP. Wade Barrett is living life. See, Wade Barrett can just come back as the leader. Yeah. He's doing a great job right now. You know, he's, he's actually doing something. He's got a match tonight. There you I mean, go. So is Neville, but you know. no, I do got to ask that, oh. Crisco. Has, has the ECW committee contacted you at all when it comes to uh, DDP's next challenger? Um. Oh my God, Saber Junior's already eliminated from the Rumble. Oh, he's back in the ring though. Oh, Neville crunched and scrunched. You see, the thing is though, if Saber Junior wins this match, it'd be you know all the previous eliminations are null and void. That's not how that works. What is this? <laughs> What in the heck? Ow! Oh my god. Oh, it's a roll up. He's like, feeling his willy. He just gave him like a back adjustment. He gave him a rack attack. <laughs> Zack Sabre Jr., pro wrestler slash chiropractor. That's a good job to have on the side from what I've heard. There you go. Good money. Uh -oh. He's going to go for. He's got someone in mind. He's going for a move. <laughs> He you have to kill a flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Neville there kicking him so hard that Zack Sabre Jr. could have broken orbit. Oh, Sabre Jr. Oh, I know the ropes. Uh, ne That's Neville's been struggling this matchup for one simple reason. He's trying to play, a, you know, he's trying to play a, a grappling matchup with Zack Sabre Jr. He needs to break orbit. Exactly. He did try to break orbit once, but then he almost struck the referee. Yeah. And the referee back to yelling. Yep. Oh, it gives Neville time to kick out a two. You know, maybe, it's, maybe he's not actually yelling at them. Maybe he's just, like, going through the motions because he wants to flex and show how strong he is. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I am seeing some some good muscles. Yeah, those are some nice rippling muscles underneath that. Or, you know, all good, right, all I said action. was I see some good muscles, and then you're just like, nice rippling muscles. Oh, come on. Gary Strider, wow. Two. Oh. Three. Three. Zack Sabre Jr. qualifies for the Rumble out of nowhere. Oh. Whoops. Neville gets defeated. Wow. What a nerdy lot of suplex to put down. Ta-da! So by the way, I was only saying what was on your mind about that referee. We know how you are. I don't like Strong or Strong because he's a screwy referee. Sports. That's all I have to say. Yeah, you guys are pretty trained if he's not here anymore. Sports. Oops. Oops. Well, there you go. Ooh. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's 25 staring, minutes into the show, and uh, I don't think we've. Yeah, he's, no, he's, he's uh, getting ready to practice his Royal Rumble pose because obviously Zack Sabre Jr. has so much confidence in himself. He'll Northern Lights suplex everyone over the top rope. Oh. But yeah, you know what? It's time for Rusev Udia. Rusev Mashka! Rusev Mashka! This just in, Zack Sabre Jr. is just super kicked over the top rope by Dolph Ziggler. 
Machka. He's really angrily throwing that flag back and forth. He's angry at Bulgaria. He's angry because he hasn't been featured enough on ECW recently. Well, do you know what he needs to do to get featured? Uh, get the ECW committee to actually pay attention to him. Have a flag that isn't perfectly horizontal. That would help. That's not perfect. There's no sag in that flag. There's no perfectly horizontal. That wasn't perfectly horizontal. It's at an angle. Horizontal is left right. But look at it. It doesn't sag. Look, just because Except you're used to saggy, down. just because you're used to saggy things, like so Crisco, doesn't mean that everything has to sag, okay? Yes, baskets of fruit sag. That's definitely not what I was referring to. Get a saggy plum. Saggy Satsuma. Rusev looking to uh, put a beat. Saggy sacks of shit. Scott, Scott Snyder, you're on the show. Get out of here. I'm on this brand. Yeah, but you're not on the show. You're not here tonight. Ah. Uh, you don't get to wrestle yet again. The ECW committee apparently just in, in, uh, suspended you indefinitely because you haven't been featured in a long time. Wow. Don't oh, look at me. I'm not the ECW committee. Uh, I run Raw, not he's ECW. Hot. He's hot, though, you know? Well, I mean, I... I don't run raw, or I don't run ECW. I run raw. <laughs> I don't run raw. <laughs> well, to be fair, I don't run raw. I let, the, <laughs> I let the inmates run the asylum. I just stand back and do stuff. You let Dean Ambrose run the asylum? Well, I mean, Dean Ambrose is in charge of Monday Night Raw. He's in. He's in charge of the lighting on, on raw. Oh god, that explains why we sometimes don't get to see anything. Yeah. Meanwhile, well, look at that. Anyway, camera, look at that crowd right there. Yeah. What a camera. What a camera. The crowd, it's coming out. He's mad. Pointing to Rusev, he's like, I will match kill you. Look at that crowd. Look at that crowd again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, he has a bit of cockiness to him, and one would expect that being the number one contender for the television champion, too. I but, mean, uh, yeah, I mean, know, going up against Bray Wyatt, I don't know how much cockiness you want to have. Yeah, there is kind of a, you know, there's kind of an elephant in the room. He is, he is elephant sized as well in yeah. Braun Strowman. Yeah. I was going to say, there's an elephant in the room, and then there's also Braun Strowman. Yes. Braun Strowman, who's... Uh, Braun Strowman who's, is actually know, the room? He's actually the elephant of elephants. I don't think it works quite as well as King of Kings, I'll be honest. Well, no, but I'm, I don't think uh, it'll what catch I mean on. Is like, what I mean like is if you had a bunch of elephants, he would be the one who's the elephant sized of an elephant. Like, he's even bigger than all the elephants. Right, okay. Elephant sized elephant, is what you, yeah, okay, yes. got it now. That phrase, got it. Something like that. Oh my god, right, the well, clothesline from hell. That's it, match is over. Um, Wade Barrett is something like three weeks, four weeks away from the Royal Rumble. Where can you, uh, where can you watch the Royal Rumble? Uh, you can watch it right here on the Perfect Channel. Wow, how much? And, you and possibly, possibly 1,000 other subscribers if we can actually get the numbers. Yeah, we you may have hit it, it by now. You can watch it for a whole zero dollars and zero cents. Exactly. We're not charging you for it. We're not charging you for the best wrestling action in the world today. Exactly. Like this right here. Look at that strength. Wow. Good lord. Rusev is not a skinny man. I tell you what. Even look at that. Even Strong looks strong to not to back up slightly from that. He was so surprised. I think Strong Rusev Strong is really liking this match. This is a big hoss kind of match. Look at him. He's yeah. He's, he's hopping all around the ring. He can barely contain his excitement. Ah God. I tell you what, he's, he's not gonna be—he's not gonna be yelling at anybody in this match. He's gonna be too afraid to. Oh no! But he's very aware of be, no, he'll be yelling out in happiness as this match keeps on going. Watch this big hoss move! Oh! Oh my! Look at, look that. at that! Look at that strength! Just hold them up in the air like that. This is big hoss. That's a oh, reference to better view. Oh my God! The bionic elbow. But um, Wade Barrett—you know—he's he's heading to the Royal Rumble, and in a way, the Royal Rumble would be Wade Barrett's. You know, as a pay-per-view, it would probably be his best pay-per-view to win a belt on, because he's already had luck at the Royal Rumble. Yes. Although, won it last year. the unfortunate thing is that he's not actually in the Rumble. No. If he was in the Rumble, though, you'd immediately say favorite. Oh, well, yeah. Odds on favorite, but he's not. Instead, he's, but, you know, he's uh, well, I guess he's kind of taking a little bit of a... Of a back seat really because you know, winning the rumble you can get a shot at the, at the main championship but he's going to shot at the secondary yep. championship instead well I mean you know 
I thought Wade Barrett should have been next in line potentially for an ECW championship after the work done at Survivor Series, but ECW he's committee deciding he's gonna make sure this uh, something else apparently. It sounds like a bit of a. It sounds like Wade Barrett has a bit of a chip on his shoulder there. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe he thinks that he well, should maybe. have been the, chip, the number one contender for the ECW title. Mm. Said they told him he's the number one contender for the TV title. Yeah, you are seeing. I mean, you are seeing frustration with the ECW. You could see frustration with the ECW right now. Just you know, just all you have to do is take a look at Seth Rollins right now. Well, you can't because he hasn't been here. <laughs> Seth, Seth, who? He hasn't been around in a long time. Exactly. Oh my God! I thought Wade Barrett was about to take flight. Wade oh Barrett's my God! He is about it. to take flight. Don't, don't break orbit! Oh my oh. God! My God Almighty! That's uh, the best. Oh, super kick! That's the best top rope maneuver I've ever seen in the history of ever. My God, Rusev's actually in a lot of trouble. Rusev is not going to match cut here tonight. Bahama! He's going to lose this matchka. He just got the matchka knocked out of him. One, two, three. Oh, late kick out. Oh, I don't strong know and McStrong in turn. I think that might have been a slow head. count. Might have been a, lo a slow count from McStrong and McStrong in turn. He might want more big hoss action. Probably does. Well, I mean, the rest of the, the, rest of the night is not going to Look at how big <laughs> hoss they are. Strong McStrong in turn goes down. He's up, though. That's it, quick. Well, he's, he was... He actually got a lot of excitement out of that. He's like, oh, a big strong guy hit running into me. Oh. I mean, a big strong... Uh, what about a... You know, you, you talk about big strong guys running into people. What if a fright shrine ran into you? No, he's not here. He's oh, nice oh, oh, my God. Oh, hammer. Rusev. Oh, what? What the heck? Rusev, Rusev just got Machka himself disqualified. Already. Rusev Machka. He hits a with a hammer and just walks out. Ru what is... Well, that was weird, and he's happy with it. He says Rusev Machka, right? Well, that was very weird by by Rusev. Wade Barrett wins his match by disqualification, and yeah, getting weird in my year that for 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 some reason we're heading back. St oh God, what is going on? Oh my God, through the table! What? Connor we cut backstage and Connor's going to right. work. Connor's going to the office. Wait, why is, it, why is there a Raw sign up in ECW? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's going on here. That's my it's own, a promotional plug. We're, we're plugging your show, but Connor's attacking on Anderson. Connor, what, Connor, what match... are you doing? Get out of my office. Well, oh, they matches the later on tonight. <laughs> Tag team titles offended later on tonight and... Connor's Connor? almost like he's trying to thin the hood. Why is Connor in my office? He's not. He just forgot to sort out the TV. Oh look, it's oh it's that assistant I hired to uh, to run Monday Night Raw when I'm up there. I have no idea what is currently going on, but here on Anderson into that executive tape. Oh my God, no, Connor. Connor with a power bomb. Oh my goodness. Arn Anderson's back has just been broken. Oh, and Anderson may as well be written written off. Well, I mean, to be fair, the the four horsemen is four people. I mean, I guess they could bring out another person to defend the titles, but still, Arn's got to be Arn's got to be taken to the local hospital. He's got to be hurt. Thing got to think about in that aspect as well. though, regarding the four horsemen, is they've all got matches tonight. Yeah, that is true. So, well, but I mean, you know, at least you have. At least Roddy, had, you know, opened up the show, so he might be a little bit more recovered. Depends. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens regarding that, but I can almost confirm the Ascension doing whatever it takes to win back those ECW Tag Team titles. Well, of course. They're, if they're this... really pissed off about the fact that they lost. I mean, they were, you know, the dominant tag team. I mean, they could have arguably been the, the most dominant tag team in the Project Universe, and then all of a sudden they get defeated by Jericho and Arn Anderson. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that was an attack done by uh, the, uh, well, it was done by Connor, obviously, but it must have been done when, it must have been uh, staring or scouting out the four horsemen all night, waiting for that opportunity when one man strayed away. Yeah. And Connor just went to work. The medics are backstage now. They are treating Tuan Anderson. I can... 
almost, you know, it, it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to be aware that Arn Anderson's probably out of that matchup later on tonight. If there's no other fresh member of the four horsemen, it's two on one. They have the horsemen rules, but who will step, if if anyone will step up, I don't know. I, it, the thing you got to think about is fear factor. I, if I was Roddy Strong, honestly, I don't think I would go up. Yeah, but Roddy Strong, Roddy, Roddy Strong has a bit of a pun intended, a bit of a strong personality. Not only that, but he also he wants to to show the Four Horsemen that he's here and that he wants to be a great representative for the Four Horsemen. So I mean, he could very well end up going in there and you know trying to prove himself to the Four Horsemen. And then of course you know. There's this guy who he could just make yeah. short work of EC3 and then stick around for that match. I mean, we'll we'll see what's gonna happen, but I'm I'm trying to think about something. We've seen people of Roddy strength. Oh my god, be, so much brightness. We've seen people of Roddy strength just be lumped around the ring, thrown around by the Ascension. We've seen people bigger than Roddy thrown around the ring. Like yes, yeah, I mean, so I mean, no matter what, it's gonna be whoever. Ends up stepping in, or if Jericho just sets by himself, it's going to end up being a brutal beating nonetheless. But you know, the Four Horsemen's not going to back down. They're not going to. No. They're not going to just say, "Oh, that, here you go. Here's the titles." Especially that with main event, Jericho, on Anderson or not, is still going ahead as scheduled. Corbin comes down to but, uh, the ring, looking focused, wanting to uh, qualify for the Rumble here tonight. Baron Corbin, while a member of the Four Horsemen, does label himself as a lone wolf. He's in that group, but he does what he wants to do. Not what Arn Anderson tells him to do, or Chris Jericho for that matter. And tonight, Baron Corbin looks to get set to put himself in the Royal Rumble. And honestly, if Corbin was in the Rumble, I would say strong favorite with the yeah. seat with the 2016 he's had. Well, I mean, let's be fair. Even even with you know, even with EC3 not having much of a, a year as of late, even if EC3 was to qualify for that Rumble, he'd be a strong favorite too, just because of his history in the Project Universe. He's had a lot of success. Exactly. So EC3 is still, you know, still now is someone who's in singles action, very, very rarely lost. Yes, this is true. I mean, you know, I, I, we may have to pull up some stats about this. That's what I'm <laughs> happy to be doing right now because, you know, I don't have, I don't have any women here with me tonight, so I have to do this all myself. Yes. Becky's obviously, anyway. you know, getting recovery and all that stuff. Ethan Carter the third, just yes. on just on ECW alone, is twenty seven and seven. And you know, I can guarantee, probably six of those losses are in tag team matches or something along those lines. Maybe singles matches. EC three is one of the strongest competitors there is. This is true. I mean, after all, he does have an overall record of 47-12. and 12. That's impressive enough as exactly. it is. And EC3, in another aspect as well, this happened a few months ago, but I'll still point it out. EC3 has a pinfall victory over Diamond Dallas Page. Well, there you go. He's done it. He's beaten the ECW champion. Maybe he's who, so, the, maybe he's who the ECW committee has in mind for, a memo, for the uh, title maybe. show. Hey, with, a, with record like what he's got and with victories like he's had, it certainly would make sense. Not only that, but so he just end. eliminated Baron Corbin from the Rumble. Oh, Corbin, though, not happy about that. <laughs> just lumped EC3 into the barricade there. Oh, dangerous on the outside, that thin padding there, but this is kind of where Corbin is almost in like a like a home, really. So a bunch of dangerous objects Look around. at those fists, just taking EC3 down. Well, the former boxer can do whatever he wants. Really strong, and that strong aspect, he puts an arm around strong, 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 strong is just loving that right there, having that big hosk next to him. Oh, look at, just look at these punches. Like, EC3 is a durable guy. He's a tough guy, but he's just being rocked back by these. What is he? Oh, my. Oh, my God. Look at the strength of EC3 there. Wow. This is what makes him one of the best lifting there, but Baron Corbin just took him down there like he was made out of nothing. We got equal, we got equal levels of strength going on here. Nice elbows here now. 
Really softening up those shoulders. Perhaps trying to take away the end of days from EC3. Uh, from, yeah, EC3 is trying to take the end of days away from himself. Well, he's trying to take the, the end of days away from himself because he doesn't want to get hit by it. He wants to be... Uh, oh. He wants, he wants to... Tremendous save. Thank you very much. Center. And there it is again. That's Lifting strength. him up with one arm. Good lord. Uh-oh, EC3 prepped in position. Could it be an early finish of Baron Corbin? Same, but we haven't one seen percent. a long no. time. No. Never mind. Say, we Even haven't seen that move in a long time, but they did put down a lot of people when, it, when they got hit. Exactly. Corbin's now been the eliminated outside. from the Rumble. Oh, EC3 wants to take flight now. EC3 doing whatever he, he can up on the apron. Going to get a good run up here on Corbin. And there's the diving fish drop. Going right in the face. Back and forth now as once again these men spill on the outside. Good counter there. Oh, stiff kick to the gut by Corbin who brings him in. And end of days. He's on the outside though. I don't know about that. I mean, maybe he's going to take a count on loss. Baron Corbin does what he wants. It's, you know, that's what we kind of realized from Baron Corbin. Oh. He'll win however he wants to. You know, you see, three's not getting put down by one though. Look at it. he's back up on his hands and knees. And Corbin's telling him to get back in the ring, motioning with his arm there. EC3's up at the count of seven, back in at the count of eight. This match will continue on. That's got to make Corbin mad too. The fact that he didn't keep EC3 down with that move. EC3 though, you can tell a little bit dazed. Couldn't grab him as they got as he went for that Irish rip there. Corbin set in the corner and he's. EC3 now starting to get a little bit fired up. Shrugs away that punch. Too much time to recover. Two double axe handles across the face. And look at that power slam. Ah, oh, God. EC3 feeling mega momentum right now. Could be potentially closing in on another Royal Rumble opportunity. Really in the corner. Oh. What do you look for? Oh, my God. One punch just decks him down. Corbin's like, that's Baron enough for Corbin. That. There's the deep six. Not even going for the cover after that. Oh, oh, EC3 going to send him over the top rope again. Will be oh my, what a counter. By God, Baron Corbin not what falling for that a third time. Unexpected counter by Corbin off the rope. Oh my God. Oh, just caught him in midair. Oh my. Into the end of oh. days. What a transition. Good night. Wow, EC3, one of the most dominant singles competitors, one of the best records in singles action, just got ragdolled around the ring by Baron Corbin, who doesn't even bother to hook the leg. Two, three, Baron Corbin makes his name into the Royal Rumble. Oh. I tell you what, now that I mean, now that favorite that that uh, favorite line is definitely a little afraid now because. Some might consider Triple H still a favorite, but some would definitely have to consider Baron Corbin the favorite in that. Now, well, he's definitely the favorite on ECW's roster. You can take away that. Well, that's that's definitely for sure. Well, there you have it. Baron Corbin makes work of EC3. Corbin's, a, Corbin's gonna end up causing some destruction in that Rumble. That's for sure. Do not be surprised if Corbin gets more than three eliminations. At a, at, a, at a guess. Oh, Barry Corbin, I mean, at this point, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up breaking Barrett's record. Of 16 eliminations. Yeah, but Baron Corbin. This is Barry Corbin we're talking about. <laughs> it's entirely possible. He might just, deep, he might just uh, try to deep six everybody over the top rope. Well, we are waiting for the... Um... Oh, no. Uh, yeah, uh... buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, He's back. We saw it last week. Making that statement. Your miracle, my miracle, everybody's miracle. The miracle of ECW is back. Michael Betty. He's got something to say. Oh, he's got something, he's got something to say, all right? <sighs> Alright, All right. let's have a listen then. No, no I didn't. Not one bit. What are you talking about? Everybody missed the miracle. 
Christmas was a few days ago. Come on, get over. Yeah, I, I kind of agree, though. ECW could, did kind of slump when it came to that pay-per-view. <sighs> mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Well, that's witty. DDP will need an EMT. Oh, where have you, where have you been learning those lines, Michael Bennett? Oh, ho. Well, I mean, he's, uh, at least he's saying he can do it with or without the NWO. Uh-huh. I mean, he's, he's, he's raising a fair point, as much as I hate to admit it. Eh? Okay, well. Oh, what a line. Executed there you go. the order, but you can never stop a miracle. Interesting point. It's pretty <laughs> obvious what Michael Bennett wants. As much as I hate and detest Michael Bennett, when you're ECW champion for nearly eight, what, for nearly, yeah, for nearly eight months, it's difficult to argue with a record-breaking title ring. Yeah. Right, we'll see what the ECW committee come up with, but um, one thing's for sure, judging by what we've seen tonight and everything that's gone on, and judging by your prediction, we're looking at new tag team champions, correct? Yes. Will the Ascension rise to two-time ECW tag team champions? We'll find out in a matter of minutes. To be fair, you did it a little bit late, though. They'd already risen. I know, but um, this is them rising to the tag team titles again. That was them just rising. To be fair, it's them getting the tag team titles back that they should have had to begin with. It was yeah, a bit of a fluke victory it. for Jericho and Anderson at Guilty Charge. Well, you know, surprises do happen. Look at the United States champion. And look at the fact that the Miz qualified for the Rumble. Exactly. The Miz immediately eliminated from the Rumble after that match. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Ascension... Happy, well, Connor said he was happy with the job that he did earlier in the night, and now... You know, if I'm... If I'm... Just... If I'm a tag team on ECW, yes, I think I'm more afraid of, of the Ascension being not the champions than the East, than the Ascension being the champions because the East, because Ascension being not you know not being the champions are going to make them even more vicious and hungry to try to get those titles. So I think I'm even more afraid of them without the title belt. So what you're trying to say is that if the, if the Ascension aren't the champions, they want to beat up every single tag team. Well, they want to do whatever it takes to get those titles. At least before, when they had the titles, they're like, "All right, we have the champ, the championships. Now we're just trying to, to uh, you know, show everybody that we're still better than them." But you know, without the titles, as we've seen already here tonight, clearly they're going to do whatever it takes to get the title belts back. Never seen the Ascension do anything like that. Well, it's because they, they, you know, they want those titles back. That's how much they, they uh, need those titles in their lives, really. They get so used to it, right they need them. The hunger that they, uh, they need those titles around their waists. And right now, of course, with it being around the waist of, well, around the waist of Chris Jericho, I assume not around the waist of Arn Anderson right now. I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. Is you know, with them with them not holding the titles anymore, it makes them even more dangerous, as we saw here tonight. The Ascension may stop at absolutely nothing to make sure they win these titles back off Jericho. I mean, I mean, it kind of looks like he's going about it alone. There's nobody else that came out with him. Yeah. Usually you see the four horsemen come out together, so it looks like he's going at it alone. Jericho. He's got a hell of a task to do here. Oh, I wish him the best of luck in this. I definitely don't envy oh, him. That's no, nope. he's not going at it sure. alone. Well, there you go. That's what I just said. He made sh he wanted to make short work of EC3, and then he wanted to make sure he came out. And Corbin wasn't he wasn't worn out at all in that match, really. EC3 did a little bit of damage wow. to him, but he wasn't worn out at all, and there you go. Corbin. Well, the Lone Wolf comes up for the second time tonight. And I never... I to be honest, Baron Corbin doing horseman business is a very weird thing to look at. Yeah, I mean, you know, you said it yourself at the start of that last match. He's a, he's a bit of a lone wolf. He does what he wants, and Jericho and Anderson just kind of deal with it. But apparently, he's a uh, he's playing the team player to here tonight. That is, well, I mean, you know, it's it's noble of him, but he also just you know he throws a car, you know, he throws a spoon right in the machine. 
the Ascension and ready. They were just ready to dominate Jericho. Yeah. I don't know if they can dominate Colvin. I don't know if they can either. You know, in a way though, it kind of it kind of can make some sense though, because even though Corbin's more of a lone wolf, he has enough respect for Jericho and Anderson who brought him into the Four Horsemen and who really helped give him that chance on ECW because he wasn't really doing much before that. So maybe that's why he's doing this here tonight. Maybe it's kind of out of a, more of a, out of a span of uh, respect. It's a fair point. However, if there is ever a time for the Ascension to be right at the top of the mountain, it would be now last week, knocking off Cesaro and Wade Barrett. Arguably, you know, aside from the Ascension, maybe arguably the greatest team in ECW's history. So the Ascension have got all the momentum in the world going for them right now. I don't know about that. I mean, you get, well, if you're talking about greatest teams in ECW history, one has to kind of think about... Uh, the team that the, the person Barry Corman just beat in the last match was part of too, though. The one percenters, of course. We'll, we'll gloss over that one. Well, Corbin <laughs> with a title in his hand. Corbin's, <laughs> Corbin's happy about it, too. He's <laughs> really just kind of yelling there. This should be an outstanding match. I mean, if he's trying to scare the Ascension, that doesn't work. Strong, strong intent just, holding up those titles. Look at that. Look at those muscles. Wow. You know, I mean, you said it. You said that, that Corbin was trying to scare the Ascension. I mean, in a way, it could actually be, though, because it's not like they've ever really dealt with somebody like Baron Corbin before. I mean, they, well, I think they might have had a match against him once before, but Corbin's kind of a bit different than a lot of the other people they've gone up against. Mm -hmm. So there could be a, like, there could be at least a little, a little bit of a worry from the Ascension when it comes to Baron Corbin. That's a very fair point. And right now, right off the bat, they need to do what they need to do for the entire match. Keep Jericho on the ground. In fact, I mean, they probably were, they were probably honestly hoping that if anybody was going to come out to help out, Jericho would have been strong. Yep. Strong weighing around the same as Victor, which would just be easy, easy pickings for Connor. Exactly. But Corbin, I mean, Corbin's going to, I mean, not only, does, not only is Corbin strong enough to match with Connor, but Corbin's going to, you know, for lack of a better term, he's going to F you up. He's he doesn't care about playing nice. He's just going to go in there and oh, no. beat you senseless. Well, we're seeing right off the bat here by Jericho and Corbin off the top rope. Double back suplex. Look at that. You know, it's kind of funny that, that these two are the teaming up, too, because this is what this is what the Four Horsemen's original tag team was at one point. It was, it was Corbin and Jericho, and then Corbin kind of broke out onto his own. There you go. Victor tagged in now. Victor to go face to face with the lone wolf. It's just getting rocked by those by those uh, right hands there. Staggered out of that corner. Took Corbin a little bit by surprise. I don't think he was expecting that, but Corbin now right back on the oh money. God. Right back in focus and look at that. T-bone suplex with perfection as Victor though powers out early on. I mean Victor's Victor's gonna get tossed around, but he's not gonna be He's not going to be someone who gets put down right away by anything that, that uh, oh, no. Corbin has to do because he's he's got a lot of resilience and a lot of durability to him. Northern Light Suplex now, but that is good strength by Victor there. Well, we've seen it. I mean, we've seen during a lot of the Ascension's tag team title defenses, we've seen Victor show off this strength that nobody really expects from him. And we saw Victor it. now oh, just lugged over his head there. It's kind of what helps make this team even dangerous is that, you know, you, you would expect Victor to be the agile one and Connor to be the strong one, but both of them have shown the opposite as well. Yep, that's a fair point. Oh, nice overhand punch there by Victor as again he hits a backbreaker onto Baron Corbin. Right now the Ascension shutting down any worry about Corbin potentially being dangerous and they've got to keep on doing this. Well, I, I think it partly comes from the fact that they just, even though they were caught off, they were caught off guard by Corbin being a part of this match. They're just really pissed off about the fact that again they don't have the titles, and so they want to do whatever it takes to get them, even if, regardless of who is teamed up with Jericho. Well, Corbin now back on track, and it seems as if it's time for Jericho maybe to get back in this ring tag mate. As of the for suplex, grabs his legs and oh, it's like an aided suplex. Yeah, there. that was a bit innovative there. Well, we certainly seen some innovative offense from the Four Horsemen. There was that draping across the top rope double axe handle. Yeah. We saw a guilty as charged, and there's a counter to a Tiger Bomb by Jericho. Yeah, I mean, if, and Jericho's going to be 
You know, it's, it's kind of funny too because I would have expected that they would. Oh, been... code breakup by Jericho. See, I would have, I would have thought that you would have tried to take out Jericho if you're going to take out one of the teammates because Jericho's the dangerous one, really, in the four horsemen. He's the one that's, you know, has the, the experience in the Project Universe and at the same time also has a lot of, a lot of the technical abilities that can that you have to watch out for. That is completely fair there, and Victor may be an inexperience stuck in the ring with. Jericho, but it seems as if we ask. I mean, if he makes the tag here. Oh, you saw there Connor with a strong idea distracting the ref, so maybe he wouldn't see the tag into Corbin. Maybe, but Victor can reverse it and put him Jericho upside down there in the corner. Now choking him with his boot. Corbin can only watch on. And it seems as if the big man in the Ascension's back in the ring now. See, that's smart. That's a veteran move by Jericho. They're rolling to the outside, trying to get back on your feet out there instead of climbing up to your feet while in the ring. Oh, oh that foot and just threw him into that clothesline. Advantage now goes to corner as he keeps Jericho down on the ground. Something that needs to be done. Quick cover here. Trying to put down Jericho. I think that's the first. No, that's the, no, the first cover of the match. That might be the first cover the Ascension's made. Yeah. Oh. Corner now just trying to go to town on Jericho. Good counter though. Jericho slow to get up to his feet. But you can imagine he just took a bit of a punishment on the ground. We're going to see another tag here. Uh, Victor yeah, getting in the go. ring. Oh, we saw this at Guilty is charged. We'll see it again. The Harakarana into the power bomb. I gotta imagine coming from Corbin, that's an even more deadlier power bomb though. Oh yeah. And I just a lot, you know, much harsher landing as again another boot is caught. Connor's not gonna care though. Line. Oh no. I mean Connor at this point, he considers himself one of the strongest men in ECW, so he's gonna you know go toe to toe with Baron Corbin and have no issues with that. I guess he keeps on catching the the boot every time Corbin goes for a kick and that's working out. Oh he's gone break man! By God. Working on the nerve. Trying to trap it, you know, trap it no end of days. Pretty yeah. simple. He's kind of, kind of backed up there. It's almost as if he was contemplating a tag into Victor. But Corbin with one arm sends him over his shoulders. Again, though, he catches the boot and a belly to belly by Connor. Yeah, you know, and at some point, you have to figure that, that a little bit of fatigue starts wearing on Baron Corbin. Because... Yeah, it wasn't that long of a match against EC3, but it was still a match. He still had to exert a lot of energy, mm -hmm. so there's there's eventually going to be fatigue uh -oh. coming in on Corbin's part. You never know what's going to happen when you're in the corner with the Ascension. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here goes trying to Does Corbin have what it takes? Not going to happen. Full of man. Is that it? Cover. Oh. Yeah, strong, he looks strong in turn very late into his position there. Oh, referee, come on. I'll be making those mistakes. It's a marquee main event. I think we got to fire him after this. Mm. He's had too many questionable calls tonight. Deep six by Corbin. Right back. Right back into it after taking that fall of man. Aaron Corbin now. Irish whip, Victor in trouble. Oh, God. We saw this just a moments ago. Here we go. End of days to Victor. The cover by Corbin. Connor's One, two, three. Baron Corbin to the rescue for the four horsemen. There you go. As they hold on to their ECW tag team titles. There you are right there. Man, what a night for Corbin. Qualifying oh, for yeah. the Rumble and helping retain the ECW Tag Team titles. You know, if he wasn't if he wasn't in the Royal Rumble, and I was the ECW committee, I would have a few thoughts in my mind regarding Baron Corbin, but Corbin with a strong, strong night to close out the year. Well, you saw this ECW in its own yeah. way it kind of belongs to Baron Corbin. Well, and you saw it there too. You saw the, the fist bump there between him and Jericho. I mean, like I said, that's... He, they let him do whatever he wants to do, but at the same time, he still has enough respect for Jericho and Anderson to come and help out when needed, like we saw here tonight. Right, there we go. It would beg the question of if it's over between the Ascension and the Four Horsemen. I would say no, because no. we haven't had the legitimate rematch. Not only that, but the, not only that, but the Ascension's not going to give up. Oh, no. Well, um, I've just had a word here 
from the East Debbie Committee. Tune in next week where it will be revealed who will be challenging Diamond Dallas Page at the Royal Rumble. Well, I'll end this episode of the universe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. And ta -ra. Boy, we really, uh, we really had some fun with that episode. <laughs> we were kind of all over the place there. <laughs> Start just calling out every single move possible. <laughs>